Hello guys, it's Huntress Me, a class I never play, and today I'm going to go through the new SD set for the Huntress, which is called uh, Gothic Bolt Lightning Wedding Dress Set. No, so the actual name for the Huntress SD set is called the, the Resurrected Huntress Set, and it uh, includes the Bolt Thrower, Gothic Buffant, Lightning Rod, and Wedding Dress, and in this video I will craft all these items on testing and try out the set and give my thoughts and first impressions of the SD set. But before I go into the SD set, check out my giveaway down in the description. It's uh, 4000 gold to be given away and 4 SD chests at the end of June. So it will be posted around the 22nd, 24th of June before I go to Austria for a month. But let's not wait any longer and let's craft the ST set we have here. We have the bolt thrower, gonna use one of the resurrected hunter set tokens and a weapon and you need 80 crafting materials and here we have the bolt thrower. Now we're going to uh, craft the trap. I think this is a trap. No, this is a ring. It's a little bit weird. The lightning rod is a the ability and the ring is something I'm not really sure uh, yeah we need one token there we go we got the gothic book bound then we have no lightning rod ability need like that and that there we go here we have the ability and hopefully this set is strong at least uh, hopefully a little bit strong like uh, the um, let's see the kill billy warrior set we i tried out yesterday and if you want to check out the kill billy warrior set that video will be in the description i made a review of that yesterday so go check that out if you haven't seen it yet so here we have the complete set the bolt thrower lightning rod wedding dress and the gothic font so let's throw away all these bad items like warmonger Best of Abandoned Shadows and a Bracer, and try out the Bolt Thrower at first. Always, uh, what interests me in SD set is the weapons. They are hugely the item that is changed a lot. So this is how the bow looks, and I've never seen it shoot before. At the first glance, I do not like this at all. I hate the widespread new weapons they've decided to add bows and wands or staffs but this is very wide the spread of the these bullets are insane but it probably means that if you're summoning something you will have a lot of damage the bow does 80 to 125 damage shoots multiple bullets um, bullet 1 uh, 110 to 125 then you have bullet 2 80 to 90 you got four shots and the range is 7.04 and uh, the rate of fire is 80%. So I wonder what the first bullets are. It's probably the bullet one is probably all the different fours and the bullet two is probably the one in the middle or it's vice versa. But as we I did yesterday, I'll pop a dungeon just to see how it uh, looks at the first glance. So let's do a high tech terror. Okay, here we're going to try it out on a vent here. Let's see if the boss did not shoot us. I mean, it doesn't look to be that much damage at all. Standing is something fine, you will do a lot of damage. Let's see on the boss here. I mean, it's not that much damage at all. Uh, barely two bullets hitting at once hopefully the bolt thrower will be changed if you add more pieces i haven't looked at that but let let's take a look on the lightning rod the trap does 800 damage within six squares inflicts slowed for five seconds one second to arm for 15 seconds triggers within three squares and does nothing more than that okay i like that there's actually something um, like in the middle here so it looks like it might just be slowing for 
the duration it's uh, out and uh, then pops and does damage if nothing goes in it directly so I'm not sure it doesn't look that changed but the wedding dress seems to do some more things on its own but let's try try out the lightning rod in a nest okay let's open up here Okay, so the lightning rod is just still there. I'm not sure why. Because uh, it doesn't do anything more on impact. After the trap is sprung, the lightning rod itself, the sprite there, doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm, this is weird. This does not impress me at all. Well, to save this SD set, the armor has to be better. Here we got the wedding dress on taking at least 20 damage, re releases 3 damaging sparks, 200 to 275 damage in a cone, cooldown 5 seconds on defense, 3 defense, on equip 16 defense, 3 vitality, 3 dexterity. Okay, let's try this out again in a nest. Let's go take some damage. Okay. Was that everything let's see it once more is that everything is that everything that armor does that's like 700 damage that's not even much every six seconds and you need to get shot okay hmm this is not impressing me at all and the ring does nothing while having this set, you do get some defense and vitality, but I don't think it's that much vitality and defense to actually go into something. And I don't know what this skin is. What is this skin? Let's clear out here. I took some colors before. Uh, let's buy that. Now, what is this? I have no clue what this is. Uh, the sprite in the middle is changed while having the full set on. I like that and the bullet or the color of the bullets are changed a little bit. But I think this might be one of the worst ST sets we've had recently. The trap does 800 damage. You might do 800, 700, 700, 800 damage with uh, the wedding dress. But that's not enough with this bow I think because in the middle it barely hits I don't know the true range might be just some tiles away I would say the true range for this set is probably three tiles of getting the three middle bullets in and standing in something won't even do all of the bullets I think if you see here three tiles up where I hold my cursor is where I think the middle three bullets will hit together but that's just a maybe Reading from the patch notes from the blog post they released, they said the resurrected huntress is designed to clear swaths of enemies at a distance with a wide cone of her bolt thrower. She also has the vitality and defense to get close with larger enemies and give them full f the full force of all five projectiles. When she gets to the, this range, enemies will have to beware of the retaliatory re re explosion of sparks from her wedding dress or the high damage of her lightning rod trap this will leave enemies slowed and easy prey well i do not think this is easy prey on the first look here this is probably one of the worst sd sets we've had in a long while i just hate the widespread of the bow i think we need to get other bows that does not shoot wide like this the other good example I have here is the Predator Bow, which also has a very weird true range of just uh, some tiles. But this bolt thrower I do not like at all. Uh, I think this is one of the worst ST sets we've gotten recently. What do you think about this? Does this impress you? The wedding dress barely doing any damage. The lightning rod, which uh, Deca says do a lot of damage, is not enough. I think 800 for a trap is not enough at all. And 
In what situations do you really need to clear swarms of enemies at a distance with the wide cone of her bolt thrower? When do you need to clear a lot of enemies fast? You often run in bigger groups and the other bows, tier 13, tier 14, has peers and will easily clear swaths of enemies and you can hit them with a true range of a longer than this by far. Ah, uh, this did not impress me. I think the warrior set is fine we, uh, that I took a look at yesterday. If you haven't seen that, go watch that video. But what do you think? Comment down below. Does this impress you at all? Not me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you won't be crafting this SD set if it doesn't get a buff. Or maybe I'm completely wrong. Tell me down below. Bye bye. Oh. Man vill bara, man vill bara, fucking dö med 100 000 fem. Ja, det är 26 000 fem där. Ja. Det är sättet viktigt jag också vill dö i alla fall.